renovation, proposed renovation to the uh, Mead Library um, Plaza area. Um, I've gotten some questions from some of you aldermen and thought it was a good thing to share with you. So if you can go to the next slide. I'm sorry about the color because on my screen at the, com at the desk it looks really good, but on Meredith's screen it looks good too. So I'm sorry we will never use this co color again. Anyway, um, back in 2015, the city uh, development staff identified uh, six, seven locations along A Street on, that we called in living underutilized spaces. So these were uh, primarily alleys and uh, li the library plaza area that were identified as uh, places that we felt could be enhanced to be able to kind of either create connection between parking lots and make alleys more safe and, and uh, usable as well as place making. So a lot of the uh, red stars you see on this map is locations that have undergone some kind of place making activity. Uh, primarily by the John Michael Kohler Arts Center and their street alley uh, projects that they've instituted over the course of the few last few years. The really key location that was left as part of this plan was the area around the library plaza, uh, particularly as it relates to the Helper and Fountain and that concrete area to the east of the library. Next slide. So the area we're talking about is the block uh, that primarily makes up the uh, library plaza including the fountain and the drive lane that goes in to service the book uh, drop-off. Uh, there will be some modifications also to the parking lot to the west of the library um, but the, the most of the work is happening either on the east side of the library or in the helper and plaza area. Next slide. So this uh, was identified in the 2014 downtown harbor center master plan as a key location uh, for redevelopment and it was particularly uh, brought to the table once the City Green was developed to look at how to kind of create the library and the library plaza with City Green to serve kind of as that uh, center urban, urban core area where a lot of activity could happen. So um, that's really where it originally came out. There was some plans of filling in the Helper and Fountain and putting plantings and stuff in it. Um, in that plan, uh, we did not go that direction, but if you were to pull up that plan today, you would see that. Next slide. So the picture up on the left, top right, uh, top left is the existing uh, aerial, uh, aerial of the uh, library, and then you can see the proposed plan. So really what is changing is the entranceway as you walk into the front of the library from A Street. That's probably where you'll see the biggest change. Um, right now it's kind of a jogged, pathway as it follows the contour of the fountain um, under some proposed repairs that will happen to the walls of the fountain uh, to deal with some maintenance issues. The plan is to create this kind of straight through sidewalk on the north side of the library underneath the canopy of the library. So you can see in the proposed plan the uh, area where the sidewalk goes straight through between the parking lot and the street and then the improvements that will be happening particularly on the east side of the library uh, where that sea of concrete will be taken out and more landscaping with trees and grass will be put in. Next slide. Also the area to the north west of the library where you drive in today uh, for the uh, book drop off will be uh, eliminated and greened up with trees and grass and you will enter the book drop off now through the parking lot. So instead of having its own dedicated lane, you'll come in through the parking lot and then turn on that little curve and you can then drive and drop your books off. Um, as part of the planning of that, it was decided that that kind of cleaned up that area where we've got a lot of pedestrian traffic and people not sure where to drive and which lane they're supposed to be in and people going backwards and um, all that on that kind of little core there. So the, the idea behind rerouting that road was really to deal with pedestrian safety issues that are uh, potentially happening in the front of the library. Next slide. Um, also as part of the plan, the clock tower, which has not functioned in a couple of years, uh, the clock and, and some deferred maintenance on that clock tower will be coming down. Um, those panels you see on the four sides of the clock will be repurposed into uh, a sculpture that will occur along the street. So if you go to the next slide, this is what the street will look like from basically across the road at City Green. So there'll be a plaza area uh, just on the northeast corner, yeah, northeast corner of the library. And then those 
uh, decorative panels that were done as part of a art project when that tower was built will be relocated into these four pedestal columns that will kind of be the backdrop of this uh, plaza area. Also these large block areas then will be serve as a place where people can sit down and you know play on their computer or their phone or read a book um, to try to give it a, a defined area of where that's where that should happen and then everything basically in the clock in the east side of the library to the south will then be greened and and treed up um, and so a lot of that concrete then will be gone next slide under the helper and fountain updates the the plan the original plan of the helper and fountain had a number of l landscaping and green trees um, that kind of encompassed the fountain so it wasn't this large concrete structure um, so the the plan is to bring some of that back um, so you can see on the on the lower picture uh, towards the right the wall will be straightened out where the sidewalk will go straight into the north side of the library um, there'll be some additional planters added and some different tiers of trees that will be happening in that area right now if you were out there that whole area is all this like steps down that are on an L shape so the L shape, the southern leg of that will be removed and then put in with planters and some landscaping to try to enhance that as well as some landscaping that will happen on the right side and then some new trees and stuff around the back where the Christmas tree is in the, at the Christmas season. Next slide. So this is another look of that same area today. These are primarily those, st those small steps that go down that area where the person is standing in the back then will be uh, as part of a structural issue dealing with building some new planters in that area and greening up and adding additional trees. There will also be some new bollard lighting. So along the street side of that um, plaza down to the fountain, there's some round uh, looking concrete bollards that um, some work, some don't. I like to say that those look like little minions. Um, those will be removed and this more modern type bollard lighting will be there to be able to light the walkway uh, in the path, the area down to the fountain. So the question I received a few times is how is this being funded? In the uh, TIF 16 Capital, and Pro Capital Improvement Project Fund, there was 400,000 uh, borrowed for this. Um, and then the difference is coming from the 2019 Community Development Block Grant allocation of around 237,000. So the project has been bid out and you've awarded contracts at about 637,000 total. Uh, there was a pre-construction meeting last week. Mike Canning Construction is the contractor. Um, they will start work sometime in April uh, and be completed sometime in mid-August, weather depending. So the whole, pretty much the library area will be unusable for most of the summer. Um, however, there will be still access to the library and access to the book drop-off. Just in a few days that paving is happening, those um, accesses may be uh, closed. But the idea is to obviously keep the library open to the public during this time and work through these updates. So that's it. If anybody has any questions, I'd be happy to answer them. Alder Person Wolfen and Boren. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, Chad, I think this is a, a great project for the city. Uh, our our library is one of the one of the many diamonds that we have here, and I think by dressing it up, modernizing the outside, um, it's going to again draw more people to to the, the great facility that we have. So good job. All the person born. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, a couple of things, Chad, uh, as far as uh, accessibility to the building, uh, has there been any consideration in maybe doing some heated sidewalks? on that uh, sidewalk from A Street up to the door. Uh, I know we're going to be heating the new city hall parking lot, at least the area, uh, to, to make that less slippery in the winter. And then my second question is, uh, on the west side of the parking lot, are there going to be any enhancements made to that parking lot as far as not having to park and then walk over that, that hump and then you got the driveway where the book lane is now and then in then into the library. How is can, that going to look? Can you go back a couple slides? So, go back. Okay, let's go back. That one. So if you look at the proposed plan on this slide, um, the parking where the, it's hard, where the tree line stops on the west edge on the northwest corner there, 
that that would be the drive lane today into the library that's going to become the parking lane where the uh, handicapped accessible stalls will be okay. so you will base and there'll be a sidewalk between the parking stalls and where this oak grove kind of of trees will start so you'll be able to just get on the sidewalk and come straight across and you won't have any more of those all of those different that was one of the challenges because you've got all these different grades happening in such a small area so it'll be more conducive to um, being able to park and get into the library the wow. idea of the heated sidewalks they're I mean, it was talked about that we had to trim the cost way down to even get to this point. The original estimate was over a million dollars uh, to do it. So we, you know, picked up the highest priority as we could. And, you know, unfortunately, there wasn't enough funding to do it all. Okay. Well, I would think that, you know, from an accessibility standpoint with the handicapped parking, if there was any way to do it, it might be better to do it from there maybe than from A Street in. Uh, and I don't, any estimate at all what it, what it was going to cost to do that? I'm not sure that we even got an estimate because I think Daryl might have take trim that out right off the bat. Is there any uh, any possibility of just uh, getting an estimate for you know maybe from that back parking in? I don't. I have no idea how long it would be, but is there any chance of maybe getting getting an estimate I on look that? Look at David and Brian. Okay. Okay. Right. Yeah, it's it's no it was no problem the way it is now in the summer, but in the winter, particularly this winter, it was quite difficult. Thank you. Any other questions? Seeing no chat, thank you very much for the presentation.